and just like being greeted by like 50 people like holy shit it was like like, (laughs) yeah just like hugs and alcohol and like just so much i literally cried for like 15 minutes this is insane you know you're listening to the real you thoughts ideas and perspectives from the ordinary and all of us my name is Dooley, and this podcast is in partnership with Pocket Change, the social platform built to show the real you. When we talked, you'd mentioned like a you kind of this large dream for Red Rocks, and that yeah, that that, that came came true in a way. Like what what's that story? That was the scariest day of my entire life. Both <laughs> of those two days, um, it was actually kind of by accident. I wasn't I wasn't like seeked out. I was given the opportunity the first time because the person who was originally going to VJ got COVID and Mm -hmm. couldn't be there. And I'm the other VJ from Nexus. And so Mm -hmm. they were like, Hey, we need you to to step up and do this for us. Yeah. 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 Um, It was, yeah. So I have always, okay, let me roll back a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. So my dad actually uh, was in, the movie industry, the music industry. He was a special effects coordinator for 45 years. Yeah. Um, pyrotechnician, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he was cool as hell. Um, he did the Tubes tour in 1989 and played at Red Rocks. Or he was oh, yeah. he was with the tour at Red Rocks in 1989. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I don't know if you know about this, but at Red Rocks, there's a Hall of Fame. Mm. Um, every like literally any artist in the history of Red Rocks has signed it. Yeah. Well, my yeah. dad signed it um, in 1989 and yeah. it's always been like a dream of mine to yeah. go and sign the wall next to my dad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so I just for years always dreamed about like working at Red Rocks or playing at Red Rocks, one or the other. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, yeah. I never, I never thought I'd play at Red Rocks. I'm not that good of an artist. I don't have the desire to. Oh, do hey, we're really just like we're getting started. We're just. Getting, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, but I knew one day I would work there. I was like, you know what? It, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna work my ass off to be able to work there and sign my fucking name next to my dad's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so this past year for Elenium's throwback set, he did a three day tour or a three day show at Red Rocks. Yeah. Um, they asked me to come on BJ for Kaivon for the throwback set night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Um, which was the scariest night of my life. Let me tell you. So this is 15 minutes before they show up. Okay, before before I'm supposed to go up and BJ, the tour manager comes up to me with this list of music and goes, "Oh, here's here's your play by play. We need you to follow it. Um, every single clip with the exact time, how long we want you to play it for each song." And I was like, okay, cool. I've never done this before, but I'll try my best to like hit every mark. Oh my God. And then I'm setting up my computer up in the front of house two minutes before the set. Their tour manager comes up to me and goes, oh yeah, by the way, he changed the first six songs. So you don't have to worry about it until like 15 minutes in. And I was like, (laughs) what? Like, how the fuck am I going to do this? My first Red Rock show, I now have to follow this time coded map that I don't have to follow until 15 minutes in. Yeah, so I had to like I had to time phone myself. Timer next year. That's literally what I did. Is I used my phone timer to time myself when I got to 15 minutes and six seconds, so that I knew when to go to the right clip at the right time. Oh my and like, God. it was absolutely terrifying, um, but one of the most wholesome moments of my entire life. I searched everywhere for my dad's name, and I found it, and I signed my name next to his. Oh my God! Um, it was like the most emotional day of my life i swear to god like i'm That's literally t- thinking of- same, dude. i'm like blown <laughs> by that. it was it was so cool um and then a few months later actually the same exact thing happened for uh sudden death at red rocks um <laughs> i got asked i got asked to vj for ominous at oh red my- rocks um so which was like, where does that like just obviously now you've got it almost in your little record book that you've been able to do stuff and you've done DJing at Red Rocks and so now is it like someone's like oh we need someone or something like it's pretty much like that like so the company I work for Nexus they have what's called the V1 um, which is the VJ one that they use for everything it's like their go-to guy for any VJing event Mm -hmm. Um, but he was actually at the time going through some legal stuff so he wasn't able to be at Red Rocks Mm -hmm. and um, I was just the backup and they're like hey we don't want to turn this gig down. It's good money. 
here yeah. you go. Like, yeah, yeah, here's yeah. this content. Make it happen. Oh my god. Um, and actually, that one, that event was ten times scarier to me than the first event, <laughs> solely because I had literally every single one of my friends at that show. Like, yeah, none of my friends were at, at Elenium. None of my friends are like into the the Elenium yeah. stuff. All of my friends are into like the rhythm, the yeah, dubstep, yeah. like. And I had probably close to like 50 to 100 friends in that crowd that night. Oh my God. And so I was just like, everyone's going to be watching. All of my <laughs> friends are going to see me. Holy shit. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, uh, that night, I had, I, so my roommate, Emmy, she's my best friend. Um, yeah, yeah. I snuck her backstage. I gave her my all access pass and I took her downstairs, <laughs> like into Red Rocks. Yeah, it was cool as fuck, actually. So we were, I was showing her the tunnel, and as we were walking up the tunnel, Sudden Death was walking down the tunnel. No. So we like, yeah, so we got to say what's up to Sudden Death. We took a picture with him. Oh, um, <laughs> in the backside of Red Rocks, when you go in, they have, like, catering and stuff for all the staff, for all the employees, yeah, yeah. for all the artists. Um, and I was, I remember, it's so embarrassing, I was trying to eat, and I literally was shaking so much, I couldn't even pick up my food. I was, it would just, like, fall off my fork. And Emmy was like, dude, just stop trying. Like, you're not going to be able to eat. Just give up. Water. Have a beer or something. <laughs> yeah, like, have a fucking beer, relax, smoke some weed. Like, it was the most terrifying night of my entire life. And um, wow. actually, I would never admit this to anyone, but whatever. I actually was so nervous, I missed the first drop on the visuals like <laughs> i was like a second behind and it i don't think anybody noticed at that yeah. point he was like right he was like the person right before direct support so it wasn't mm -hmm. like everybody was sober and watching me you know everyone's all yeah, fucked yeah. up at that point and just yeah. raging but yeah, yeah i uh no one mentioned it no one said a thing about it so i was yeah. like all right cool no one no one cares um yeah 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 but i remember uh after that leaving and like going to meet my friends and just like being greeted by like 50 people like holy shit it was like, like <laughs> yeah just like hugs and alcohol and like just so much i literally cried for like 15 minutes I was yeah. like, this is insane you know that's awesome um, oh my god it was one of the coolest it's like to me the closest i could get to playing at red rocks yeah know? yeah 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 um wow. so that was like monumental um, that's like so it's still like the fact too that you sort of flashback to when it was last year a little over a year ago just jumping into the first thing of not knowing how to do it and it's almost that same feeling of I don't know exactly what I'm exactly. doing right, but you just have to kind of lean in and trust and say fuck it and then all of a exactly. sudden you are a year and a half later or whatever and um yeah, that's like electric. That's awesome. And it, and like at that point, the first time I did Red Rocks was only so I started in January and that was in like July. So that was like six or seven months after I had started. Yeah. Um, oh Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was terrifying. I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, but I also another thing that was important to me, which I think added to the stress, was I'm representing a company mm -hmm. and. A, a pretty like well-known company in denver for production and mm. i didn't want to fuck that up i didn't want to lose that opportunity for them yeah yeah you know yeah. to come back like this cup so there's there's two like name brand companies in denver there's mm -hmm. brown note which is primarily the biggest production company in denver they do every single red rock show everyone yeah yeah, yeah. um and then there's us nexus which is like right below them and the only reason we're below them is because Brown Note has like an unlimited pocket, essentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We don't, um, and so any chance we get to go to Red Rocks is huge for us. It's yeah. we go all out. We do everything we can to make it the sickest show, so that we can show yeah. that we are worthy of being there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and so those events that I was VJing for Nexus, I was like, wow, I, I can't mess this up. You know, like, yeah, yeah. I'm representing Nexus for this. This is really important to them. I can't mess this up. And yeah. I think that added to a lot of the pressure that I was feeling. Yeah. 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 But it was worth it because it made me come out and like really perform. Yeah. Yeah. And so once you kind of get put in that spot too, and also it shows the trust of even the rest of the Nexus team and everything in you, which also helps kind of build that, that confidence in a way of like, screw it. They are putting this in my hands. Like if I'm the one to do it, I got to do it. And so, exactly. yeah, that's almost energizing in its own way of, 
not like, oh shoot, you got to do it. But no, we're, we're get out there and rip it. It's like, all right, exactly. That's all, that's all that's left to do here. <laughs> it was, it was the time of my life and, and I want to do it again. I want to do it a hundred more fucking times. Like, yeah. <laughs>